I don't hold my tongue, I'm not talking names. The rest of my fist, that's a hot line. I don't talk about this, that shit is crazy. I still live in the hood, so you know I get busy. Why you won't bring a relationship? Too love me finna go iron shit. I want a beast, what type of pie is it? I'm a big guy. I want to grab the lions, What's good, guys? It's your boy Playboy Hitch Jr., aka HC. And today, we finna talk about a pressing matter, an important topic. I've been doing consultations since like November, right? Like you can look back at my old videos and you can see the link for the number in the description. But I've been doing a lot of consultations since around November and it's taught me a lot about you guys. It's taught me a lot. I've helped a lot of people. I've seen a lot of people get through some toxic ass interactions with people in situations where they literally don't know what to do, so they look at me for guidance. Let's discuss a story about this lady in Oregon. She has, I believe, two kids, and she recently got divorced, but she's Muslim. So with the Muslim culture, she never interacted with other men before. So one, she was lacking interpersonal or interrelationship skills with other genders. She had to get married into a relationship. That marriage failed. And she had to pretty much learn on the fly on how to interact with the opposite sex at the age of 36. With a family at home, with children at home, with someone with toxic behaviors and toxic traits. That person ended up using her for money multiple times, ended up using her to get into a threesome with her and his cousin. Bro, it was so many crazy stories during these consultations. But I tell you, more of the story is this. During your age of your teenage years, up until your mid-20s, you should be dabbling in different affairs with both genders to understand how to interact amongst each other. You can see what you could do to talk to a lady to make her damn, to make her giggle, to give her butterflies, to make her twat tingle. And you can see how to interact with the with the male society and realize how to assert yourself, how to always maintain respect amongst your peers and how to not get goddamn ran over and pushed over and have your damn needs at the forefront of any time you guys have interaction or conversations and how to have decent bypasses and communications because conflict will always arise but it's the duty as men to think logical and get through conflicts. So with these consultations, I've pretty much been discussing with people what to do. What I would have done in that situation. What I would recommend they should do in that situation. Because it's not my life. It's their life. Another guy in Dallas, he had went on a first date with a girl he liked a lot. And some of the pointers that I was giving him was how to escalate the interactions between them, how to escalate and continue on the sexual tension throughout the date, how to inch her closer by influencing her to come back to your house, to advance things, to bring them to go together for a closer connection. The whole point was, okay, he gets off of work this time, she gets off of work that time, they're gonna go on a date, say they go have dinner somewhere else, but he has to incorporate some of his intangibles, his, his awesome skills to bring her back to his place. He mentioned that he made a perfect type of cake. I can't remember what the fuck the cake was called. I think it was called, it wasn't pound cake. It was some other shit. It was mud cake, some shit like that. It was some weird shit, bro. Some weird shit. But more of the story, he was able to use his talents to secure her to get back to his spot. Because of the tips I gave him. And he gave me an update on the situation. Then I have other situations where people consult me about a girl of their dreams, this, that, and a third, how they want to settle down with this person. But meanwhile, this guy's telling me how he's a virgin and never had sex with a girl. He never got to practice with other women. So with the girl of his dreams that he has right then and there, he could fumble the situation if he delivers poorly physically in the bedroom, you know? So this is all about just me talking to you guys to get a basic understanding of life, 
to intermingle with the opposite gender, to really understand what the hell is going on. I know you can take wisdom for videos. I know you can learn from things people are telling you and live vicariously through their stories, but you gotta go experience the shit yourself. Like, you can't just become wise from human interactions by hearing someone else's story. Like, okay, you heard this business venture, it failed, but you have to actually hop into that business, get a knowledge of the industry, and understand what the fuck is really going on to really get the full gist of it. You can watch me play Call of Duty, but at the end of the day, if I put the control in your hands, are you gonna get that kill? I don't think you're getting that kill, man. Are you gonna drop that nuke? Are you gonna get that 30 kill streak? Or are you just gonna flop and get sent right to the gulag? Once again, it's Playboy H Jr. AKA HC. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll talk to you on the next one.